Join Kids Hat Family. What are you doing, Tofu? I am trying to water the plants, but this hose is broken. Come, let me tell you a short story. The Clever Crow The Clever Crow One hot day, a thirsty crow flew all over the fields looking for water. For a long time, he could not find any water. Suddenly, he saw a water jug below the tree. He flew straight down to see if there was any water inside. Yes, he could see some water inside the jug. The crow tried to push his head into the jug. Sadly, he found that the neck of the jug was too narrow. What should I do? I am really thirsty. How do I drink water? Then he tried to push the jug to tilt for the water to flow out, but the jug was too heavy. He looked around and saw some pebbles. He suddenly had a good idea. He started picking up the pebbles one by one, dropping each into the jug. As more and more pebbles filled the jug, the water level kept rising. Soon, it was high enough for the crow to drink. His plan had worked. So, like the clever crow, was able to find a solution to the problem by thinking and working hard, would you be able to find one to this too? Tofu, I think you should help the poor dog. Why, Tia? Wait, I'll explain this to you through a story. The Lion and the Mouse One day, a lion was sleeping in his den. A mouse was also playing nearby. Little mouse began running up and down upon him. This soon wakened the lion. Angry at the little mouse, the lion caught the mouse and said, You little mouse, how dare you wake me? 
I will kill you. The mouse was frightened and prayed to the lion. Father, no king, please do not kill me. I am a little creature. Please let me go and I will do you a good return one day for sparing my life. The lion was rather amused to hear this, thinking, what good can he do to me? But let him go. A few days after, the lion was walking in a jungle. He found himself caught in a hunter's net. He roared and rolled to get out of the net, but he failed. The lion was pleading for help. Help me, help me. The mouse, whose life was saved by the lion, heard the roar and ran to the lion and said, Don't worry, my friend. I will save you. The mouse gathered all his friends and told them, We all have to help my friend and set him free. The mouse and his friends cut through the net and set the lion free. The lion escaped and thanked the mouse. And from that day, they became the best of friends. Like the little mouse and lion had become friends and in the end helped each other, you should help this dog too. Because a friend in need is a friend indeed. Slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race. What happened, Tofu? What is it that you are thinking? Yes, dear. I am not able to understand how can a person win the race if he is slow and yet steady? There is a very famous story behind this. Should I tell you that first? Sure. The Hare and the Tortoise Long ago, in a forest, a small get-together of animals was taking place. You know what? I can beat anyone in this forest. Nobody can beat me in a race. Yes, I have seen him running. I bet he can beat anyone in this forest. Suddenly, from the crowd, they hear somebody laughing. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You think you can beat me in a race? I may not disagree with you, O oh Mr. Hare. But I might not deny that I have no fear of competing with you. Oh really? So let's have a race and let's see who wins.
So one fine sunny day, all the animals gathered for the race. Everybody was sure that the hare is going to be a clear-cut winner. <laughs> May the best man win. And that is me, said the hare proudly. <laughs> now let's go, old man. I'll beat you in a second. The hare runs so fast that all the things on the path go for a spin. <laughs> on the other hand, the tortoise is running too, but at such a pace that even snails could pass by him easily. <laughs> Suddenly, the hare stops and looks behind. Oh my lord! That tortoise is gonna take ages to reach this point. So let's just stop here and take some rest. By the time he reaches here, I would get good rest and then cover him up in a blink of a second. In the meanwhile, the tortoise slowly and steadily reaches the point where the hare is fast asleep. He very quietly tiptoes past the hare and the hare is all ignorant of this fact. Suddenly, the hare gets up by the rows of the crowd, cheering up the tortoise. Go tortoise, go! Go tortoise! Lord, how is that possible? I kept on sleeping for so long that the tortoise is about to finish the race. He runs and runs and runs. But to his disappointment, the tortoise just manages to finish the race before he could. In the story, the hare was so full of himself. He was overconfident that he would surely beat the tortoise in the race. Because he is faster than that poor being in every other way. But, but the hare underestimated the tortoise and succumbed in his own fake overconfidence. Yes, and that's why only a person who thinks calmly and is not overconfident of himself wins the race in every sphere of life. Proud people can't survive for long. Hmm. I 
just don't feel like studying. Let's go out and play. Tofu, exams are just round the corner. Don't you think we should prepare for them first and then play? But Tia, they are still two months away. We can enjoy now and study later. What if we are not able to study then? Because of some uncertain circumstances? Why? What would happen then? You never know what tomorrow has in store for you, Tofu. So one should always be prepared for future. Wait, I have a little story to tell you and this would cheer you up too. The Ant and the Grasshopper Why are you working so hard? The Almighty has provided us with food on every tree out here. Why work so much? Just eat and relax and have fun like the way I am doing. Stop working like those dumb ants. Come on, let's play together and feast on the food. The food that you're enjoying today will not last for long. Please realize that. Well, where is so much food gonna go? Sure, it's gonna be here forever. Once the winters arrive, you will know how difficult it would get to gather food. So save today so that you don't starve in winters. Oh, winters have long time to come. Till then, let's all play and dance and feast on food. Helpless and tired. 
I haven't eaten anything in days. Did the grasshopper die of hunger? Oh my God! He should have listened to the queen ant. Come on, Tia. Tell me what happened next. Better? Yes, I am. Thanks for all the help and I think I have a lesson to learn now. Had I listened to you back then, I wouldn't be so miserably homeless and hungry now. The grasshopper learned a lesson the hard way. Yes, Tofu. But do you know what lesson he learned? Yes. Work today and you can reap the benefits tomorrow. You are intelligent, Tofu. Now let's study today and reap benefits of our hard work tomorrow. What in the world are you trying to do? I am trying to pluck those juicy fruits from this tree. <laughs> but do you think you will be able to pluck them? They are so high. Oh, I wish I could fly and pluck those fruits. I so wish I had wings. To wish is not bad. But one should be conscious about the consequences. Come, I'll tell you a story. The Tortoise and the Eagle A young tortoise was lazing around the riverbank, looking at the birds flying in the sky. He stared at them and started thinking out aloud. I wish I could fly like those birds. Up high in the sky, I'll watch the beautiful sceneries and beauty of the world from top of the world. Oh, I so wish that. Nearby, an eagle was sitting on a stone, listening to what the tortoise was thinking out loud and couldn't resist but ask. Why do you want to fly? You should be happy with what you are gifted with. I wish I could fly with no trouble of crawling on the ground. So say that you want to fly because you don't want to crawl, not because you wish to see the world from the sky. Anyway, what will I get in return for making you fly in the sky? I'll give you the riches of gold from the Red Sea. So the eagle grabbed the tortoise in its claws and soared up high in the sky, making him see all the beautiful sceneries of the world. Flying higher in the clouds and closer to the stars, it was indeed a mesmerizing moment for the tortoise. While the eagle was flying over the riverbank, the rest of the tortoise were basking in the sun. Suddenly, the tortoise flying high up in the sky said, I wish my friends could watch me flying so high in the sky. I am sure they would get jealous watching me. What? 
Why would you want your friends to get jealous of you? I want them to see that I can fly and they cannot. It's such a nice feeling. What an evil friend this tortoise is, thought the eagle. With this, the eagle dropped him on the ground and asked for his treasure. Now give me my reward. <laughs> there is no reward. I was just kidding about the gold, so that you could take me for a ride. And with this, the tortoise left. The eagle couldn't tolerate his insult and decided to teach him a lesson. So the next day, the eagle went to the tortoise and said, Hey, would you like to go for a sky ride again? Yes, sure! I would love to! The eagle once again picked him up and clenched him in his claws. The tortoise, while enjoying the ride, said to the eagle, Why did you bring me again for the ride, even though I dishonoured my promise of rewarding you? That's because, tortoise, you wish to make your friends jealous, but at my cost. And now I'll let you enjoy the free fall. The eagle let his claws loose and the tortoise went falling down. Screaming for help and flying no longer, he crashed on the ground with a thud. Thanks to his shell, he didn't get injured. Soon, his old friends surrounded him and said, Hey, our young friend, you wanted to see the world from high up in the sky. To dream big is not a sin, but to dream it at the cost of others is just not justifiable. I have learnt my lesson now. I should be thankful to God for what I am blessed with. It was my shell only that saved my life. I should be happy with what I have and also should not use others for my selfish reasons. I surely have learnt my lesson. Tia, now I know what you are trying to say. I learnt a lesson too. One should think about the consequences before one wishes for something. I should be happy with what I am blessed with. I should rather look for an alternative to pluck those fruits. Wait, I'll get a ladder! <laughs> Tofu, you learn things quite fast. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Heart family. Subscribe here.